my journey really as a writer began with trying to understand my hometown, trying to understand the narratives that were there, which I did not find in my history textbooks, as I said. You know, uh, unfortunately, the way history is taught in India, certainly it was when I was growing up, it was dates, this happened, and partition is never really dealt with. Mm -hmm. And I was very aware, even as a small child, that I would, uh, you know, you're sort of playing a game of hide and seek, and you stumble into a room which is full of women, and the conversation immediately comes to a stop. You know, it just peters off. And as a child, you don't pay heed to it. But once I had moved out of my hometown and I started connecting the dots, the women were talking about the violence that had been committed, that nobody was talking about. Um, in my own neighborhood, in our colony, the house behind ours, there was a woman who was called the mad woman, you know, the pagal ejiyata. And I remember her as a child. We were told, you do not approach her, you stay away from her. She was not violent, from what I remember. She just used to sit in the courtyard, in the sun, her hair all askew, and it had been cut very short because I guess she used to tear her hair out. She would just be mumbling. She would be speaking all the time. At times, there would be volleys of uh, words coming out. At times, she would be very quiet, and she would be sobbing. You know, sort of this was classified as a mad woman. And again, once I started interrogating the past, what had I seen, I realized she was one of those victims or survivors. You know, clearly her family thought she was a victim and she had been abducted and then was saved, rescued and brought back, but she wasn't rehabilitated. She was never accepted as part of society. In fact, her own family kept her because they were shamed into it by, you know, the women's organizations which were leading the effort to rescue uh, these women. And, and, I, and I think that all of that is something I grew up with. But it's only when I read Kushwan Singh's uh, you know, Train to Pakistan, which I came to very late in life. I was in my early 20s. And then it struck me, gosh, this is what I have seen. This is history. This is what really happened. And I feel that it's a false narrative when we privilege um, non-fiction and say, oh, this tells the truth. Yeah. Truth is not uh, the, the safekeeping of any one kind of narrative. Truth is derived from a lot of sources. It requires a deep engagement with the past, with what has happened, with what really, uh, you know, was undergone.